Hey everybody, Anaconda Squeeze back again with another Tricks and Traps video. Today, as you can see behind me, we are doing a three armor stand swapper. Uh, so one of my favorite things of Redstone is really good at when you are using it in factions map, trying to hide all of your lousy armor. You can put the shitty one up front and always have two good ones sitting below it. So yeah, so it swaps to three armor stands. I'll show you how to do it here. Here's everything you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna need some blocks that are gonna blend in with your surroundings that can be on top here. So just because I'm using the polished die right, I've got that up right now. We have three armor stands, one slime block, four glowstone, two trap doors, one redstone torch, two redstone blocks, three sticky pistons, a button, eight things of redstone, and a furnace. And then you're gonna need whatever armors you want. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna take a five block line, so a vertical line, go down eight layers here. So we went down eight layers, and you wanna pick which end you wanna start at. So which end do you want to have the button on to face? Because right now, all you essentially need are three blocks here. The one behind you here can be a wall. I usually like to place mine against a wall because it hides the blocks because these two blocks have to be higher. This way they get hidden. You can make a wall there. Everything is fine. It kind of blends in. So once you get this done, you're going to get your redstone here. First, take a block of whatever you're using. This one does not matter. Put it down with one block towards the end here. So that's this block here. It's going to have a redstone torch on it. Put your redstone torch on that one. And you're going to put three things of redstone right there. All right, then what you're going to do is we want to have it look, if you can see here, you're going to have one, two, three empty spaces. And then we're going to put an upside down sticky piston. So one, two, three empties. And if you touch the top of the other block here, we'll get a sticky piston down. And we're going to put redstone on top of there. This is what this redstone is going to come down. It's going to hit the redstone on the bottom there. And that's just going to activate our bot, our machine here. So. Now that we've done that, we're going to come and we're going to put a furnace down right on top <clears throat> of our redstone torch here. If we can get it down. Oh no, why do I suck at this game? Furnace down. And then in front of the furnace, we are going to have another sticky piston. So you just want to put it on top there. Excellent. Now, with the sticky piston, the thing to remember is you are going to punch block to the side and below on either side of it that's because we're going to put these slime block on top and we don't want it getting stuck to any of the sides this way it can move freely we don't have to worry about anything next step we got here is we are going to turn around and we're going to do two empty spaces here and then another sticky piston one two sticky piston so you should have one left on top there and we're going to do another redstone block right there once that's done, we are going to go behind and we're going to put redstone on top of our furnace and then we're going to alternate with glowstone each time putting redstone on top. All right, so let's crouch here. We'll get our redstone down. Make sure you do crouch, otherwise you will be into your actual furnace here. Now, I have done this in survival. It's just a little bit more complicated because you have to make yourself blocks to stand on, but other, it is definitely doable. Uh, I did it in our last faction world that I was doing, and it was fantastic. Put that there. Now what we want to do is you want to get to the redstone block, and you're going to put down any block of your choice here. We're going to go with the diorite one more time. And just add it there, and then you're going to take a trap door and just put it right there. Ta-da. Once you're done with that one, you can put... This is where your two blending blocks is. You're going to put your two blocks that blend in. You put another trap door right there. <clears throat> now this is where the part. Or this is the part where if you want your wall to be, it would be right here. Otherwise, you're just gonna have one space to the button block. and the trap door. You're gonna want to tap your armor stand on the back block there. It'll just drop down. Push the button. Wait till it's going the whole way down before you do the next one. Push the button again and the third time. So, as you can see, now we have all of our armor stands. Now the key is do not push this multiple times. It is timed perfectly, so once you push the button, both of the armor stands will fall down and the slime block will launch the third armor stand straight up. If you push it too fast, sometimes the trap doors will stay open and the armor stands will be stuck together. What I like to do with faction worlds is that will pop off the button there and just kind of know because no one really looks at this and thinks that that's a trap door they think it's just more of the armor stand especially if you can do your ground is the matching wood 
and you just as long as you have a button down you know that if you tap this your empty armor stand will become your new armor stand and all you have to do is just walk up tap it on here push your button and it'll go away push and we're gonna use leather for the last one here because no one likes leather and no one cares and there you have it guys we are going to have our fully functioning three armor stand swapper I do have this one here just if you do have any need any more hints this will give you a hint just to show you from a side view because I need an exploded view to do things otherwise I am useless and this will show you here trap door is open and that slam block will launch up sending the top one up there well guys I hope you had a fantastic time with me I hope you learned something hope this works out for you don't forget to like and subscribe to all my videos here and we'll see you fucking later